funky. My darling, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. I, love you. I completely forgot to intro this vlog, so this is the intro to the vlog. Um, it just starts off with me and Reef and Reef building a TV on April 24th. So if you want to see that, keep watching. Great. We finally got the TV. It showed up. So exciting. Um, Reef put it up because I'm useless with stuff like that. But yeah, I've been watching YouTube on it for three hours, four hours, something like that. Since one o'clock. It's almost, it's four, so three hours. Just quarantine things. So this side is uh, not finished. As you can see, the TV is too big for the stand. So what we're gonna do is get another one of these. We're gonna move that one over, put that one there. And yeah, it's gonna be really cute. It'll be two next to each other. We'll put that like in the middle of the two. And um, I don't know what to put over here. If you guys know any good chairs or anything, I'm gonna get a big rug for this area. A nice coffee table. Something that we can put our feet on, maybe. I don't know. Okay, we ordered some Papa John's, so. Watching Tara eating some Papa John's. Good times. Good morning and happy April 27th. Happy April 27th. Um, I don't know which vlog this is going to be in or if it's the beginning of a new vlog or what it is. Actually, no, yeah, this should be the beginning of a new vlog because it's Monday. Um, happy Monday, everybody. Uh, I just got a package in. Also, yes, I've been wearing this hoodie for like... Honestly, the whole quarantine. It is my favorite hoodie of all time. Judge me. I don't care. Um, I have washed it. That's all that matters, right? Um, I just got a package in from Pretty Little Thing. I've ordered like four or five Pretty Little Thing orders. So I think I'm going to do like a collective quarantine haul. Pretty Little Thing haul. But this was just the first package to make it in. It is a... Um, April 27th and I did order the second order on the 18th that's pretty fast one week and two days my first order though I didn't pay for express shipping this one I did so it's still not here yet the other two though I did pay for express shipping um and I ordered the second the third order I don't know I've got so many orders coming I just don't even know what to do with myself I need to be taken away from the internet because I spent way too much money during quarantine um but the this order only had one item in it and it was these pastel pink tie-dye sweatsuit and okay i got the top in a size two anyone who knows me i'm definitely not a size two i'm five foot nine and i weigh like 150 i'm a lot bigger than a five, than a size two um but the only sizes they had the sweater in were zero and two and it's an oversized hoodie so I figured it would just be like more fitted on me and honestly it looks like it'll be fine but that's a size two and then these I got my normal PLT size which is the PLT size six I'm usually an eight in clothes well it depends on where I shop I range from like a six to a ten um at Princess Polly I'm actually I think like a US 12 or something because they they make everything so small like it's ridiculous um, but at PLT, in their sweatpants at least, I've never bought their actual pants. I'm usually a size 6. I think if I bought jeans for them, I probably would get a US 8. I think that's a UK. Let's see what the size is in UK. I don't even know, honestly. Um, UK 10, US 6. So, I don't know. There's, I've been wanting tie-dye clothes for so long, and, like, I was just like, I'm not gonna do it myself because I'll make a mess for one I'll probably ruin it spend all that money and get nothing out of it but the only thing is that on the website it was a way lighter pink than this actually in camera it kind of looks like what it looked like online in real life it's a really vibrant muted pink does that make sense almost like a salmon color but I'm hoping with like a wash like once I wash it I don't know I actually really like the color of the joggers themselves they're, they're almost like an off-white 
like yellowy off-white. I don't know. It's hard to say. But I'm going to try them on eventually. Um, and I'm going to do a full PLT try on haul when all four or five of my packages show up. Which is ridiculous. But today is a glow up day. Uh, I'm going to fake tan today with a new fake tan that I've never tried before. I don't fake tan a lot. But when I do, I either use Loving Tan or Saint Tropez. And I bought Bondi Sands this time. I got dark. Um, and normally I do like a medium because I'm already like, this is my natural skin color. I look pretty pale right now in this lighting, but, and this is the palest I get. I'm normally like pretty naturally, like my colors, I have a pretty natural like tannish color, not tan, but for a white person, I have a pretty naturally tannish color, but um, I'm going to tan. I got Bondi Sands. So I'm really excited to try it out. So I am waiting on a few more packages today. I don't know if they're going to come. So I might as well just get in the shower now, but you know when you have something to do with your procrastinating hard, like I need to get in the shower. Um, I also got a package from Savage Fenty. I'm supposed to do an ad for them. And I also want to take a photo in that sweatsuit to do a photo for a pretty little thing. Okay, I showered, shaved, and put on the fake tan. I don't know if you can tell. So that's the thing is like fake tan just never looks that dark on me. I think I'm gonna have to start buying like, oh, you can see on my face. I should probably wash that and wipe that and blend that a little bit. <laughs> um, I think because I can tan so dark in real life, like fake tan doesn't look that dark to me on me just because I can get darker than this, like in the summer. Like, and this is just the guide mousse. Oh, did I miss a whole spot right there? I sure did. Hold on. Like, I just, I can get physically darker than this in the summer. So for, to me, like, I don't know. Fake tan is such a strange thing because I like it, but it's like, I've only ever tried every, anything up to dark before. I've never tried like ultra dark, any tan, ultra dark, but I just feel like none of them are dark enough. I was a loving tan girl and a Saint Tropez girl for back when I used to fake tan like two, three years ago. And now I'm using Bondi Sands because I think Adeline recommended it. Adeline Moore. And then I want to say Carly Bible recommended it too. And honestly, I'll do anything Carly Bible tells me to do. She asked me to jump off a cliff. I would do it. I really would. Just being honest with everybody. I think she's the prettiest person that's ever existed. So um, anyway, so now I'm watching YouTube and... I'll get back to you in five and a half hours when this shit is done. Good morning vlog. Oh, geez, this lighting. I literally just woke up. It's 9.15. Actually, that's a lie. I woke up at like 8.45. And it just took me a while to get out of bed. As it does. Ow. I am now just, oh, Lord Farquaad. I'm just about to make some coffee. Um, I was editing the second vlog last night and I realized that it's extremely boring. So I don't even know if I'm gonna post that, but I feel like I'm, I'm still getting the hang of the vlogging thing and like what this is gonna be like. So maybe like a few of them are gonna be boring in the beginning. And I really don't know. But yeah. I need some fucking coffee, so first things first. Anyway, so on today's agenda, I have to take photos for Savage Fenty and the new set that they sent me. I need to do photos in this set. How cute is this set? Pretty little thing. I don't know if I want to crop it or not. I don't like the length of it. Oh my God, you can't see it all. I don't like the length of it. It doesn't scooch at the bottom and the sweatpants are like perfect so I kind of want to just crop it to like there and just have it be like a little bit more flattering you know what I mean but yes that's what's happening today Savage Shanti photos in this um update on the tan it looks tan I look tan I'm tan yeah my arms are tan, my body's tan, my face has makeup on it, but I got to use my summer foundation that I haven't used since last summer. Um, I like this one, it's not patchy. 
the color's good. I did have to do two layers of the dark to get like a color that I like. I don't know if I'm willing to try the ultra dark, but maybe one layer of the ultra dark would be like two layers of the dark. Also, I came on to show you this for freaking slat suit on because I think I showed it. I like took a clip of it when it arrived in the mail, but it's so cute. I do think I am going to crop it though because the, so I just came off a flight of stairs, so I'm a little winded. I just wanna like cut it right here. I've been tucking it into the pants, but also I just grabbed a cup of milk, which <laughs> I'm not supposed to have milk because I'm lactose intolerant, but um, I have Oreos, so I needed, I needed the milk for my Oreos. And I also forgot to end this vlog, so <laughs> that's where we're at right now. Um, if you are watching this and you made it to the end, I'm sorry. Um, no, I'm not. But if you want to like, subscribe, comment, do all the good things, this, hopefully my vlogs will just get better from here because I don't really know <laughs> what that was. But hopefully I can go outside soon and get New York content for you people because I just feel so bad that my vlogs are so boring right now. Um... The next one will be less boring. The next one has more content in it. This one was just a really boring vlog for some reason. Just was. Um, have a great day. Thanks for watching. If you made it this far, I'm sorry. Enjoy your day. Bye. Fuck it. My darling, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you.